what is going on, bye. Hello! It is Pixbarters here, and welcome back to Undertale. When we left off, we got a neutral ending. Yep. Flowey was defeated, yep. but things could have been different. They could things have. could have been more, and we're going to go do that more now. Seems like By we're going to go be friends with Alphys. According to Flowey. And Flowey. so, uh, uh, no, there's no elevator over here. I, I had a blast to, doing Flowey's voice. As you always do. <laughs> and I had a blast fighting him with... One death. I was yeah. so close to zero death again. Yeah. Almost impressive, but not quite there For yet. For never having done that fight before. Never done it before. And I haven't seen it since, like, when the game first came out. was the last ago. time I saw it. Same uh, for the Asgore fight. Because um, you've me. never done a pacifist rat yourself. No, and the I last time never you have. watched a playthrough of one was literally years ago. So, yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm trying my best here to be as impressive a gamer as possible. Give people the real, but yeah, the I, real I, stuff. I, I love doing insane character voices because I I don't get to do them that often. Yeah, because they're usually you know guys that would normally have deeper voices, which you take. Yeah, but this time <laughs> I was like, I'm taking Flowey. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna save right here quick because uh i think uh sometimes it'll happen here i believe what from when i was looking yep here we go oh ring hey uh this is undyne shut up papyrus this was your idea human you have to deliver something for me uh please i'm at snowden in front of papyruses See ya, punk. Click. All right, now we have our uh, fetch I quest. I know what she's talking about. I, do, I mentioned something earlier, but I don't, well, I'm gonna say, what, what are you talking about right there? Because I mentioned something a few parts ago that I don't know if you remember. I said there was something it's, going on. It's a letter. Yes, but something very important happened in that scene that is actually kind of in-game canon as to why we couldn't do this beforehand. Really? Undyne said something very important there. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Papyrus told Undyne to call us to have this letter get delivered. Oh. And there's a certain individual that sometimes likes to talk to Papyrus. A little yellow flower that's a friend of his. Oh. So it's kind of essentially in canon that after you get to the end of the game and Flowey's like, maybe we can change this. That Flowey then, you know, kind of goes and tells Papyrus, hey, can you do this? Are you saying Flowey was being a wingman? <laughs> to get to the rest of this ending? Yes, that's kind of the case. <laughs> is that Flowey literally changes and says, hey, let's do the thing here. That's not where I want to go. I need to make my way out of this way. I guess us sparing him, you know, gave him a, a new uh, outlook on life. Heat's flames and still shook. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh! uh, left one. It's going to take me a little bit to get over there, but not too long because now <clears> I just <throat> walk down here and I go out here and I fling right around there and nice. I talk to River person. Tra -la -la so we can head over to Snowden. All right. What kind of lore are you going to give us today, bud? Then we're off. What we got? We're not running on the water. It's very chill today. <laughs> the neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know exactly <laughs> what they're talking about. I wonder what that could be about. <laughs> totally not lesser dog. <laughs> Which we had the pleasure of doing. Come again sometime. -la -la. <laughs> it's like, thank you. We already know. <coughs> Don't okay. die. <laughs> there you go. Have some coffee. <laughs> Undyne. I'll talk to Pyrus first. It seems I has something for you. She's the person. That's not me. <laughs> hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Oh, shit. I have an inventory <laughs> full of battle items. That's right. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> you're going to need those later. I'm just, uh, I'm just fucking, uh, swippity dippity. There we go. Oh, we <laughs> have, we have the butterscotch pie again. Because this is all before the boss fight. That's right. This is technically before uh, we're back in the save file before we fought. I remember now. Fought, I remember now. Uh, I remember now. Okay. Now then. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. 
Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um... <laughs> that fucking face. <laughs> well... <laughs> It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. Sure, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Well, I mean, she almost passed out. That is true. <laughs> she did pass out, actually. <clears throat> so, here you go. You got you got the Undyne's letter. <laughs> <laughs> the Undyne. <laughs> oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Oh my god. Info. Info? Undyne's letter. Unique letter written from Dr. Alphys. What if I use the letter? Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm gonna freaking kill you! Okay, I'll run away. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! I gotta go back to Hotland and deliver a letter. River Poop person! Friend. More Homie. lore time! Care for a ride! Let's get in the boat! Hot land! And we're off! There's just something so endearing about them. Choo 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 And they're occasionally running boat. Yeah. If only it would fly. Oh god, no. Fa la la. What's my name? It doesn't really matter. Okay. Alright. We shall call you Homie. <laughs> and or Bud. Thanks, Homie and or Bud. <laughs> Come again sometime, la la la. Bye. Bye, river person. Excuse me. Hi, fast. Fast. Open up. That door is uh, no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Slide. Uh, no! no. <laughs> you slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, n no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut c kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Oh, you gonna blowtorch or something? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god? Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. I think you have the wrong idea. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Uh, but, um, <laughs> Dating start. I wasn't... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Start? Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Look at her. Hello. She's so cute. <laughs> uh, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, Dating stop? <laughs> um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. Oh my god. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. This is not a dating sim. <laughs> right? Is it just like to be on the receiving end of the dating sim? <laughs> anyway, d don't worry. I'm prepared. Here, take the 17th uh, engagement ring <laughs> that costs 50 gold for some reason over and over again every single time I see you. <sighs> I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. Here's seven cars that all cost 500 gold. Stop. <laughs> First, I've got some metal armor polish. Huh. Um, maybe you can't use that. Not, that's, that was uh, not made for me. I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Also not for me. Are your, uh, scales... Uh, it, well, uh, how about... This magical spear repair kit that I... Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. <laughs> let's just start the date. Dating! Start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. You like anime? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, me too. What's your favorite? Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. That would be really awkward now, yes. Why? Uh, because, uh, uh well... Uh, yeah. Oh no, here she comes! <laughs> Undyne looks great in casual clothes. <laughs> hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ah! Have you at least seen her? <laughs> oh, God. Um, which one? I don't necessarily think there's a formula and since she's a thing. I don't think it matters, technically. I'll play it cool. Nope. No? But she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on a like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to, to make me feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I have news for you. I'm sorry, I messed up again. I'm sure we'll say it at some point. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool. Thanks. <laughs> but, but... Undyne... I get it. She's so confident and strong and funny. It's about power. <laughs> and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. That is incorrect. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. But maybe... You are cool. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell, tell her the, the truth, truth, yo. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's <laughs> roleplay. <laughs> Roleplay? Yep, I'll be right. I'll, I'm Undyne. Ah! That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne because you gotta practice. You got, you got hit. You got hit me yes. with the sweet stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> um, uh, hi, Undyne. Uh, how are you doing today? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> the, thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know <laughs> what to say. God, you're hopelessly gay. <laughs> but I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. This is perfect for Pride Month. <laughs> then she kisses you. <laughs> well, what? Undyne would never... Uh... I kiss her back softly. <laughs> I look gently into her eyes. That's it. <laughs> I start hollering. That's not it. Undyne, I love you. Undyne, kiss me again, Undyne. Wow. 
what did you just say? <laughs> I'm fine. I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Don't look at me like that. Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Nope. Uh, yes! No! I mean, uh, no! I mean, we were... But, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. You know, I think saying we were on a date would have been better than that one, maybe. <laughs> what? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything... I told you that seaweed was like, oh, oh really? Uh, I just it's, it's like, on its ice, ice cream and those human history books. I keep reading those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, which is eating frozen yogurt and not to Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. And I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I... I really think you're neat, okay? The head pats. Yeah. <laughs> Alphys. Shh. Shh. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Alphys! I... I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. Doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. It's about power. <laughs> I knew I, it. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Love training. <laughs> Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Look at her face. <laughs> get those bones shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps hooting, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh... Undyne, I'll do my best. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, <laughs> and six, and seven, and eight. Oh my god! <laughs> she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? <laughs> that... Anime is real. Anime is real. You just gotta believe. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! Bye! Bye! Have fun! Well, while I'm down <laughs> here, uh, I'm gonna ask you to, uh, pull out your phone and look up a, uh, a, uh... The, the guide to uh, Undertale Pacifist Run. Ah. Uh. On the wiki, because now I need to figure out. I mean, I might get called again or something or something, but I need to remember what the next step is after this. So, uh, I mean, there should be like, because I had a wiki page that was on my thing that has it all very simply there. True passive Israel. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, oh, I'm getting called, so I might not need. Howdy. Oh. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, but this is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Adipus and I finished our training earlier. Very early. So I sent her home. No. Very home. Uh, Very home. Now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there to her lab house. <laughs> I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. I wondered if Flowey tell him not to. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the point. Because that, that was out of the blue. Like, yeah, I think it's the fact that no... Flowey is like, hey, can you tell him to do this thing next? And then we go there. That's interesting. Yes. Uh, duh. do you want to talk about anything new? Nope. It's all old stuff. Goodbye. I'll check you out some other time. But right now, I got to go back to, uh, go catch a ride to Hotland. Oh, I was wrong. 
Photoshop Flowey is the official name, and Omega Flowey is the fan name. Oh, uh, okay. The more you know. Anyway. No, more. Flaw. Hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs of pants today. <laughs> Wasn't there a thing about wearing like a thousand pairs of pants? Million. Million? Well, I guess they're a few short. Okay. All right. I, I'm pretty sure we're being guided along, so thanks, homie and or bud. I think that's what we said before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what All I right, said. Save. All right. Over. Into here. Let me in. Hey, let me in. How fast? Okay, Where are you? Undyne's letter. Alvis? Speed of figure. Help. Fires calls you. Oh, there's a note. It's a okay. note from Alphys. Read it? Yeah. yeah. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. You can take it. <laughs> hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Literally. Alright. How long will this elevator go down? Not nearly as far as the King's Castle. Oh, warning, warning. Ah, elevator losing power. Oh boy, fun, fun, fun. Ah, ah, M to the stability lost. Altitude dropping. Maybe it is as far. <laughs> Good boy. Game over. Retry? <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. Spooky. Hello? Alvis? Ooh. Entry number one. All right, this Kay. is it. Time okay, to do what the king asked me, has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Actually, I don't remember if this is her or somebody else. I mean, for the sake of me having a bit more lines, I can take over. Yeah. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only you can make a monster's soul last. I'm pretty sure it is Alphys, but just for the sake of me having a few lines. Yeah. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination! Oh my god, why? I, every time the word pops up, I have to do it that way. <clears throat> oh boy. This music creeps <clears throat> me the hell out. <laughs> it always has. True, Lab. We're here. It's just so... Oh, there's a no... Ooh. There's no one on the ground. You can't make it all out. Oh, you can do this one. because <laughs> the Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's, That's all, all you could read. Power room. <laughs> Upon entering the true lab, the true pacifist route cannot be aborted. <laughs> We're locked in. Hell yeah. Let's buy some chippies. Yeah, I have one slot, so I'll go ahead and buy chips. The vending machine to spend some chips. Chisps. Chisps. Did you see uh, that? Chisps. Potato chisps. <laughs> no, potato chips. Pop potato chips. Heals 13 HP. Regular old potato chisps. Always go left. I'm going to go left. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. 
and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I interject determ inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then Rena might be closer than we all thought. Yeah, this is all things. Angel number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh, interesting. What? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Yeah. That was interesting. Did you notice how that was all lowercase? Yeah. Do you know who else talks in all lowercase? Um... I'm trying to remember. You, you can say it because I'm trying to remember the lore correctly. <coughs> Sands. Okay, I wanted to get that. You're right. So, you turned on the sink. Oh, Who something's going to happen. Sink? Wait for it. You turned on the sink. Yep. Hi. Yeah, that's not water. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I drew near. <laughs> All right. Am I able to... Like, if we're locked in... I mean, I can. Oh, that's so weird. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna, ch I'm a, I'm a, I'm a check. No data no available. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Terrifying. Yeah, that's okay. even more terrifying. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Ooh, but, but nobody it. came. <laughs> <laughs> um. Cell. You take out your cell phone. And you can hear voices through the receiver. Come, Come join, join the, the fun. fun. Terrifying. How about no on that one? Oh, Ow. God, that was aggressive. It was very tough to avoid that one. Um, memory, memory head. head. Um, join. <laughs> He'll be with us shortly. He'll it's a real get, get together. Laura Mops adopts us up some. Oh, these, God. Okay. These, ah, damn it. These, I went too far. These, they're funky. <laughs> Is there anything? Refuse? Refuse? It's a shame. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. Maybe I have to say it to. Uh, All right. Oh, God. See if, oh, oh, you're about no. to die. Yeah, I am. See if you can. Uh, Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Now you can they can. Oh, my God. All right. You, you won. won. Nothing. Fucking. Oh, wait. You have to get that. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. I'm going to head there back four, to the save there point. There are four keys we have to find. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get attacked by a monster yet. I just want to hit. The uh, yes, save. please. <laughs> Bring back all my life after that one and save the healing items. <laughs> Who shit? So I know the red key goes to the door, and it's just finding more keys. I'm trying to remember what happens when I go up over here. Yeah, this this place is lore theory central. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. <laughs> That's all you could read. That was a hint as to where the ah. key was. Click. The red key fits perfectly in the slot. Oh. Nice. All right. Anything else? The red switch has been turned on. I am a genius. We have to find three others now. Okay. Let me just check. Uh, yeah. Nope. No. That's not even anything. Okay. Let's head back through. And let those screens do their thing. And then I'll go off to the right. That one's now powered There's on. There's one part Tree. here. It's a fake plant. That really unsettles me. I can't wait to find it. Every time I see it, it's just... <laughs> Engine number 12. Oh, all lowercase again. I guess should I... That's interesting. I'll just keep doing the right... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Engine number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. It's an empty dog food bowl. It's a bed. This bed is a blanket me, down. Let Seems me like know a if you, bed. Uh... you could probably climb onto it if you were to the left of it. I'm, I'm that, that kind of... What the? That was the, weird. Do, do, you want me to, do, do you want me to tell you? What about the dog bowl? No. Tell about, me what? About what to do here. Well, I think I know what to do because it said down there a thing. Wait, go... Is there anything up in the thingy? 
Up in that doorway. Wait. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a door. Uh, yeah, I was yeah, going to look at this. That was the thing <clears throat> blinking on. That was that sound. The clock is broken. It was just because I was down below and it sounded like the menu sound. So it threw me for a loop. But entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Well, now that we're in the creepy section, I guess we'll see what else is going to happen next time. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Now it's getting interesting. As someone who loves horror, this is like one of my favorite parts of the true pacifist room. Of course. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs>